Remember Abby and Brittany Hensel, the twins who were born together but were separated at birth? They won our hearts and taught us how to be strong. There have been many changes since they were last on TV more than 10 years ago. Now that Abby is married and both sisters are doing well in their jobs, their story continues to amaze and inspire people. We're going to catch up with them in this movie and look at how they've dealt with problems and found love, while going against what people expect. The story of Abby and Brittany Hensel is amazing and makes us think about how humans work and how strong we are. Mike Hensel is a carpenter and landscaper and his wife Patty is a nurse. The twins were born in Carver County, Minnesota. Their life has been both amazingly normal and defied medical chances. It is called Dysophallic Paraplegious Twins, and Abby and Brittany are them. They have two necks and heads, but they have the same body. They have two arms and two legs, and their chest is bigger than most. Surgery was used to remove the small, underdeveloped arm that was between their heads when they were born, leaving only the shoulder bone. The twins' bodies are different from each other. Abby's head leans slightly to the right, while Brittany's leans more to the left, which makes her look shorter when they are sitting down. Abby's leg is about two inches longer than Brittany's, which makes her walk on her toes a lot. Her leg muscle is now much bigger than Abby's because of this. The twins had health problems as they grew. At age 12, they had surgery to fix their scoliosis and make their chest bigger so they wouldn't have trouble breathing. Also, when Brittany stopped growing too soon, doctors had to medically stop the growth of Abby's spine. How they handle their shared body is one of the most interesting things about their bodies. Each twin is in charge of one side of their body, and they can only feel touch on that side. There is a small gap in the middle, but the twin on the opposite side is the only one who feels stomach aches. Even with all of these problems, Abby and Brittany have learned to work together very well. They are able to walk, run, swim, play basketball, and even ride a bike. They know how to do things that need both hands or both legs, like driving a car and typing on a computer keyboard, while Abby is five and Brittany is four Esha, their height difference can sometimes make things hard like when they tried to balance on a Segway in their 2012 reality show. You might wonder why they weren't split up right away after birth, but the truth is that the twins' parents had to make a tough choice when they were born. Doctors said that surgically separating the twins probably wouldn't help both of them live. Their parents stuck to their decision not to split up as Abby and Brittany grew and learned new things. They thought that a twin who lived alone or one who lived with their brother or sister would have a lower quality of life than if they lived together. Their dad, Mike, helped them a lot and always had good ideas for how to handle things better. He even made them a unique bike with extra wheels and handles. For everyday tasks like tying shoes or brushing teeth, people had to work together. The girls didn't care, though. They joked and laughed while they did these things. They showed everyone how talking and working together can make tough things safer. They were told to have a normal life by their parents. They were careful to keep Abby and Brittany separate. The funny one was Brittany, who liked milk. They were able to write and eat different things at the same time. Abby liked math a lot as she got older. Brittany liked English and art more than other things. It was clear to everyone that they were not the same person, even though they shared a body. To show that they were different, they even had clothes made with two neck holes. Brittany told a newspaper once, Trust me, we're not the same person, Abby added. I like girly and pink things more Brittany isn't as fond of pink. It's our turn to choose what to wear. Every day I choose, and every other day, Brittany does. Abby and Brittany had no trouble making friends. It was fun to be around them because they were always happy. Like other kids, they went to sleepovers and birthday parties. They were a little different, but their friends knew that and made them feel welcome. On the other hand, it wasn't always easy to grow up. People were rude sometimes, but the twins were great about it. They were sure and nice about it. It was good for them to help other people understand their situation, but it was also fine to keep some things private. As Abby and Brittany turned 13, they had to deal with a new challenge getting their driver's licenses. The law said they each had to have their own license, even though they had to drive together. They each took the written test and the driving test on their own. Abby is in charge of the controls on the right, and Brittany is in charge of the controls on the left. They show how well they can work together by steering together. The twins graduated from high school in 2008 and chose to keep learning. The school they chose was Bethel University in Arden Hills, Minnesota, and they decided to major in education. Their first thought was to study different areas of education, but they quickly understood that it would be too much work. So they stuck together, and in 2012, both of them got their Bachelor of Arts. Many times, Abby and Brittany wear clothes that have been changed just for them to show that they are two different people. When you sew, well, you can make their tops have two different neck openings. 
This helps everyone see them as unique people, not just twins. They also have a method for doing everyday things. For example, let's look at answering texts. They type together so much that they almost know what the other is thinking without having to say much. They write I, when both of them agree on something, they use their own names when they disagree. When people are just going about their day, Abby and Brittany really don't like it when strangers look at them or try to take their picture. They want to keep their privacy. Don't like feeling like everyone can see them all the time. The twins did some talks for a TV show when they were 16 years old. Their hopes for the future were pretty much the same as those of most teens. They talked about going on dates, getting married, and maybe having kids. By telling some things about their lives, they thought that people would better understand them and treat them normally. Abby and Brittany didn't wait to start working after they graduated from college. When they got their degrees in 2013, they went to work as teachers. This was a big step for them because it showed they could work together as a team. People all over the world have learned from and been inspired by the twins' journey, which has been told in many media outlets. The twins first came to public attention when they went on the Oprah Winfrey show in 1996. A lot of people learned about them and became interested in their lives after this public showing. They were on the cover of Life magazine that same year. One Body, Two Souls was a great title that said everything about their situation. A piece inside called The Hensel Summer gave fans a look into their daily lives. The media's coverage helped make their situation more real by showing that, even though they were physically different, they were a lot like other kids. Life magazine kept writing about their story, and in 1998 they published another article about it. These early television appearances had a big impact on how people saw them. They showed that Abby and Brittany were real people with hopes, dreams, and problems, not just medical freaks. People became more interested in the twins' lives as they grew. A TV show called Joined for Life, which ran on the Discovery Health Channel in 2002, talked about them. People who saw this in-depth look at their lives could better understand how complicated their condition was and how amazing it was that they found ways to do everyday things. The next year, a follow-up video called Joined at Birth came out, which went into more detail about their unique situation. 2003 was a big year for Abby and Brittany in the news. Both Time and Life magazines wrote news stories about the twins, who are now 11 years old. A BCTV also made a program called Joined for Life. These different news sources helped keep track of the twins' progress and growth, showing how they were dealing with the difficulties of being pre-teens. The twin story was told all over the world in 2005 when they were featured in a UK TV show as part of the Extraordinary People series. This worldwide attention helped get the word out about conjoined twins and dispelled myths all over the world. As Abby and Brittany got older, more and more people became interested in their lives. Another video called Abby and Brittany Turn 16 was made in 2006. This movie went into great detail about their teen years, showing things like school friends and even the process of getting their driver's licenses. By showing these typical teen events, the documentary helped viewers see past their physical situation and connect with them as people. The twins' most important work in the media was their own show, Abby and Brittany, which came out in 2012. The show followed the twins as they finished college and started their first job as teachers. It first played on TLC in the US and then on BBC in the UK. This personal look into their lives as young adults helped bust some myths and false ideas about what they could do. Abby and Brittany have made a big difference by going on these different media appearances. They have helped people learn more about twins who are joined at the hip, putting assumptions to the test and showing that they can live happy lives. There is another part of their life that has gotten so much attention that we can't help but talk about it. Recently, information about Abby's personal life has made people interested in the sisters again. New sources say that Abby, who is now in her mid-30s, married Joshua Bowling in 2021. This new information has caused a lot of talk and increased interest in the twins' lives. Bowling, who was said to be a nurse and former U.S. Army soldier, has become a part of the story of the Hensel family. The twins are said to still live in their home state of Minnesota, where they work as teachers in the fifth grade. Even though the couple's social media pages are now private, family members have shared glimpses of their wedding and family trips in the past. It's interesting that this marriage has allegedly made their family bigger, as Abby is now the stepmother of Bowling's daughter from a previous relationship. These two people are naturally getting a lot of attention for this new part of their lives since they are joined together. As word of the wedding spread on the internet, it looks like the twins chose to handle things in their own way. It looked like they put up a bunch of movies on social media because people were really interested. There were pictures of twin statues joined together, wedding shots, and pictures of the couple together in these posts. The subtitles and voiceovers in these videos showed that the people in them were both happy with their situation and annoyed that so many people were looking at it so closely. 
People are very interested in Abby Hensel's marriage, which brings up important issues of privacy, public interest, and how to treat people with special physical problems. Alice Drager is a historian and bioethicist who has written a lot about conjoined twins. She talks about why this news has gotten so much attention. Drager says that people have always been interested in conjoined twins. These one-of-a-kind people make us question what we think we know about individuality and personal identity. Most people think of being unique as being one person in one body. But in the case of Abigail and Brittany, we see two separate people sharing the same body. This difference from how we usually think about identity makes us naturally curious. Even though it's normal to be interested in some things, it's important to know when interest turns into unwanted intrusion. The Hensel twins have kept a low image in public besides their scheduled media appearances, which suggests they like to keep their personal lives private. Because of this, the sudden interest in Abigail's marriage makes people think about how to respect their limits. A media studies expert, Elizabeth L. Sesser, says that being interested in the Hensel's romantic ties can be very problematic. Often this attention comes from wanting to know more about their private lives, which is rude and inappropriate. L. Sesser stresses how important it is to let the Hensels tell their own story. Any talk about their lives should happen on their terms, not because other people want to or are interested. Something else has been going on in the background between the twins and her husband. New information has given a new layer to the story of Abby Hensel and her husband Joshua Bowling. When they got married in 2021, it got a lot of attention because Abby is a conjoined twin. Now it's been revealed that Joshua is having legal problems of his own. A paternity claim was brought against him in October 2023, almost two years after Joshua and Abby's wedding. The case was started by Annika Bowling, Joshua's ex-wife. It names both Joshua and someone else. They were Gavin Vatinsdahl and others. This lawsuit has made people wonder about Joshua's past relationships and how his family works. She is nine years old now. Court records show that Joshua and Annika's only child, Isabella, was born during their marriage. Their relationship ended in April 2019, and they got a divorce in 2022. It's interesting that Annika had another child after she and Joshua broke up. This younger girl was born in late 2020 and is now four years old. She is in a lot of family pictures that are shared on social media and was at his wedding to Abby Hensel. In these pictures, Abby, who is now Isabella's stepmother, and her sister Brittany are often seen being friendly with the girl. The fact that Abby and Brittany Hensel are involved in this family situation makes the story more interesting. As identical twins who have been in the public eye their whole lives, adjusting to their new family situation and becoming stepparents comes with its own set of problems and things to think about. For more information on this issue, it's important to note that Joshua Annika, Gavin Vatinsdahl, and the Hensel twins have not been reached for comment. Many questions remain unsolved and can only be guessed at because they haven't said anything. This court case shows the problems that can happen in blended families and how hard it can be to figure out personal ties when you're in the public eye. It's likely that Joshua and Abby want to build a quiet life together, even though everyone will be interested in their unusual situation. These court cases give their story an unexpected turn. As the court case goes on, it's still unclear how this will impact Joshua and Abby's relationship, as well as their interactions with other family members. Having a child involved in these processes makes things more difficult and needs to be handled carefully to protect the child's privacy and best interests. We can all say, though, that the story of the conjoined twins has moved a lot of people. 